AI adoption is, is accelerating across industries right now. Uh, I'm interested, uh, what do you and Vulture see as the most transformative real world applications going on right now in AI uh, and why? Yeah, so it's a great question. So people are moving very fast towards deploying new agents to support both internal and external processes very quickly. They're looking to finally leverage and harness all of their operational data to start empowering new agents to improve employee productivity and improve their customer experience. And of course, with this comes a whole bunch of key challenges with respect to security, compliance, and infrastructure. And top of mind for most of these decision makers when they're deploying Agentic AI is how to leverage new AI infrastructure providers that have access to the latest generation NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, but at the same time have the safety, security, and compliance they need for all of the changing regulations uh, around uh, in different geographies to ensure that the experiences that they're delivering uh, to their end customers can be trusted. And are there any particular categories of industry that are uh, more uh, likely to take up these services than others right now? So the three big industries that are moving the fastest are healthcare, financial services, and manufacturing. Each. But how does your company work with those industries when they want to do that? How do you ensure that you are compliant with their compliance? Yeah, so it's a great question. So first, what we aim to do here at Bolcher is we aim to help people achieve better outcomes quicker. And that's by understanding their core use cases and providing a blueprint, a golden path to success. This includes not only how best to leverage our infrastructure on a global scale, but also how to leverage and integrate third-party technologies that complete the cloud stack and do so in a safe, secure, compliant way. From an infrastructure perspective, what we do here at Vulture is make sure that we have the highest degree of support for all of your core compliance controls. That's all your ISO certifications. That's all your SOC certifications. That's um, all of your privacy uh, you know, uh, support. We also provide unparalleled support amongst uh, newer independent clouds now, in the 20th century, we had this horizontal infrastructure and you, you, you ran your stuff over it. And that was pretty straightforward. Now, above that traditional 20th century infrastructure, you've got a virtual uh, a, a layer cake of technologies like AI and automation, predictive analytics. And above that, you've got all the vertical industries. How do they take advantage of that traditional infrastructure, which may sit in the data center, it may be out on a fiber network, that virtual infrastructure, but how, where is the join? Let me talk about what that is. Composable infrastructure basically means that all resources are fungible and interchangeable. Vulture resources, other third-party resources. Um, you know, a resource is a resource. It should be fully atomic, uh, fully modular, fully discoverable, fully orchestratable. This is what we do on a worldwide basis with all of our compute, all of our storage, all of our networking, and all of our ancillary services that help you complete your cloud slap. But on top of that, you need to have this notion of a composable template. And what this template is, is your infrastructure as code, okay? Anyone can build, a, pre compose a cloud stack and make it available to others in our marketplace. So if you are going to have a, uh, a special purpose application or a specific industry use case, it's so simple to just take a composable template, make it available to others, and they too can spin up the same set of services, the same infrastructure to rapidly build and deploy their own variant of that application. Who's developing those customized stack? Is it coming from the industry or is it coming from Vulture? Or is it coming from assistance integrators? Think about a composable stack, it's, it's like a recipe, right? And you wanna have a cookbook with all these wonderful recipes. And depending on, on the ingredients that you have at your disposable, disposal, and depending on what you're interested in cooking, you can actually look in the cookbook, you can find the right recipe, and then you can follow the recipe and then just quickly make a great meal. It, that, that's amazing because it's the most cogent and commonsensical uh, 
uh, description of, of of what people need that I'm talking to in these industries, uh, heavy and light industries, uh, that I've heard, Kevin. That's fantastic. We're, we're launching it this June, and we couldn't be more excited. I hope, I hope you'll uh, come back and talk to me about this when, when you've got this to market. I would love to come back and talk about this. And at the end of the day, if we kickstart something great and help move the industry and including getting the hyperscalers to follow this pattern. That's good for the industry. That's good for every one of us.